minutes. Cam is an instance where both his mother's intelligence and his intelligence led him to understand the importance of mental health. Mm. So he dealt with his mental health early on in his life. Um, you know, as have I have, as have a lot of people, you know, right. you, you go to counselors, you go to 12. I mean, there's a lot of modalities and I'm not advocating one modality. There's church, there's, I mean, but, but, but you are able to specifically define mental health as a problem. Marvin Gaye never did that in his life. He never did it. Um, I, I and 25 other people, including Dick Gregory, could never get him to a counselor, could never get him. And so there was a deterioration. First of all, he never got clean. He never got sober. But even on top of that, he, he, he never reached out. And Ken was, has been the opposite. I mean, he's a person who really values uh, mental health. And he talks in the book about going to a psychiatrist and getting uh, psychotropic meds at a certain point in his life when he was hit hard by depression. And and so, uh, you know, he's like a mature adult who understood that the pressures. Um, and, you know, what's interesting to me, one of the most interesting moments of the book, which took me by, by which took me by uh, uh, surprise, uh, was when he gets his Motown contract, mm -hmm. and he almost has he almost has a nervous breakdown. He cannot sign the contract. Mm. Uh, it's like everything he's been working for. You know, he's been selling these CDs on his own, and suddenly Motown hears about it, and he auditions for him in New York. And they offer him a contract, um, and he's and he's Detroit, and of course, you know, Motown is Motor Town, and it's Detroit at least in its origins, and everything. You know, it's a huge international company owned by Universal, and 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 he and he takes him forever to sign the contract because he's scared of, of giving up control, mm -hmm. and so he has to deal with that issue. He goes to a counselor. He talks about it. So I think that one of the reasons. Um, he's so strong and he's endured for these last couple of decades so that he's been able to thrive is that he does not ignore um, the issue of mental health and consequently has become a lot stronger as, uh, as a person. And man, I, I don't know how many books I've done at this time, but a whole bunch, but very few artists that I have worked with have stopped and said, oh, I think I better go to a counselor or I better go to a psychologist or I better go to a psychiatrist and do some work on myself here because show business is fucking me up. And, and I, I mean, it's just, it's, it's now, I think hopefully it's happening more and more now. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. I don't know that for sure. But um, um, the book, if, if the book is, is, is um, in addition to hopefully being, in addition to bringing people pleasure when they read it, because I hope that, you know, it's got a groove and it reads well and people enjoy reading it. But I think there's also things to learn in the book, which is, you know, when you feel yourself going crazy, you do something about it. You go to a right. pro, you know, and, and, and so that I think was, um, of great comfort to me and because doing Marvin's book was such a, um, I mean, it just broke my heart uh, um, uh, cause I loved him so much. And, 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 and um, you know, uh, um, to die at that age and look at the work that he had done before he died, imagine the work you would have done afterwards, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So, so it was great to meet a brother who was so um, um, keen on, uh, on um, asking for help when he uh, knew that he needed help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad the mental health,